morning. It's Thursday, September 10th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Cloud by Day, Fire by Night, and our scripture is Exodus chapter 17. When Pharaoh finally let the people go, God did not lead them along the main road that runs through Philistine territory, even though that was the shortest route to the Promised Land. God said, If the people are faced with a battle, they might change their minds and return to Egypt. So God led them in a roundabout way through the wilderness toward the Red Sea. Thus the Israelites left Egypt like an army ready for battle. Moses took the bones of Joseph with him, for Joseph had made the sons of Israel swear to do this. He said, God will certainly come to help you. When he does, you must take my bones with you from this place. The Israelites left Succoth and camped at Etham on the edge of the wilderness. The Lord went ahead of them. He guided them during the day with a pillar of cloud, and he provided light at night with a pillar of fire. This allowed them to travel by day or by night. And the Lord did not remove the pillar of cloud or pillar of fire from its place in front of the people. During this season of pandemic fruit basket turnover, I have come to appreciate the Exodus story in a more personal way. The Israelite nation, a bunch of former slaves, didn't get the express train ride to the Promised Land. They got wandering, walking in circles for over 40 years. The stories are recorded in Exodus of how the people complained about life being rough and uncertain in the wilderness. It wasn't a picnic, certainly. However, they were being, as the songwriter George Young penned in 1903, led along. Sometimes on the mount where the sun shines so bright, God leads his dear children along. Sometimes in the valley in darkest of night, God leads his dear children along, some through the waters, some through the flood, some through the fire, but all through the blood, some through great sorrow, but God gives a song in the night season and all the day long. The account of God's children being released from Egyptian bondage on the heels of the pandemic of firstborn death is an easy connect for our world today. In some ways, we all feel like prisoners, and we're all wondering what's waiting for us going forward. I have an idea the Israelites felt much the same. The unknown is always much scarier than the familiar. It took many miracles, 40 years of wilderness without a GPS, and relearning the same lesson over and over before they finally crossed Jordan to God's promises. Perhaps it's wise for us to remember that in our struggles today. Wearing masks and keeping six feet apart are little sacrifices. Learning God's direction in the mess is no little thing. And so to the point, God does not leave us to wander. He is directing the wandering. The Israelites knew that. All they had to do was look up in the sky. God's presence led them in a pillar of cloud by day and fire by night. In addition, God's voice thundered from the mountain, and Moses translated God's directions. But what intrigues me most is the final sentence. The Lord did not remove the pillar of cloud or pillar of fire from its place in front of the people. Despite the obvious lack of faith and the resultant grumbling, downright disobedience and aggravation on the part of several million frightened and faithless Jews, God did not stop caring for them. True to his word, God led them along to Canaan land. For you today, as you wander in today's pandemic pandemonium, keep a strong grip on how the darkness has no way to overcome light. If God led six million Jews through the dark nights with a pillar of fire, he'll do it for us too. And just for good measure, let's let God's word have the last word, which it always does anyway. Psalm 119.105, your word is a lamp to guide my feet and a light for my path. 
His word. If you don't want to stumble in the darkness, lift it up and follow what it says every day as your lantern lights the path. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day in the light.